Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is resolution in artificial intelligence and how to use resolution to prove a predicate in artificial intelligence with the help of simple solved example. First, we will understand what is resolution in artificial intelligence. Resolution is a theorem proving technique that proceeds by building proof by contradiction. That is, uh, we will consider the contradiction of the required proof and then we will start building the proof in this case. It was invented by a mathematician, John Allen Robinson, in 1965. Whenever we have been given a various statements and we want to prove the conclusion, in that case, so we can use a resolution technique. Resolution is a single inference rule which can efficiently operate on conjunctive normal form, also known as CNF in this case. There are mainly four steps in resolution. First, we need to convert the given facts into first order logic. Once you convert the facts into first order logic, we need to convert the first order logic statements into conjunctive normal form, that is a CNF. Next, we need to negate the statement uh, which needs to be proved. Uh, whatever the statements we need to prove, we need to uh, take the negation of that thing, that is nothing but the proof by contradiction here. And then we need to draw the resolution graph that is known as unification here. We will discuss each of these uh, steps uh, one by one. So in this video, I will discuss the first step that is uh, conversion of uh, given facts into first order logic that is FOL here. So in this case, we have been given some set of uh, facts. We will discuss how to convert those particular facts into uh, first order logic or FOL in artificial intelligence. So the first uh, fact is uh, John likes all kind of food is given to us. So in this case, what is given is all. So and uh, John is the person and food is the another uh, uh, variable in this case. So because we have all here, what we do is we will take for all x. If x is a food, if x is a food, then what will happen? The John will like that thing. So that's the reason I have taken likes function here. John will like that particular x here. So for all x, if x is a food, then John will like that x in this case. So this is how we can convert uh, the fact into first order logic here. The second uh, fact is apple and vegetables are food in this case. So apple is a food as well as vegetable is a food here. So in this case, uh, uh, the quantity is given or you can say that directly the values are given. So that's the reason what we do here is so we will write something like this apple is a food and the vegetable is also food in this case in the previous case the word was all that's the reason we have taken for all x here so in this case directly the value is given so that's the reason we don't take x or anything in this case coming back to the third fact here anything anyone eats and not killed is a food so anything anyone there are two things are there so that's the reason we will take for all x for all y here if x eats y, in this case x is a person and y is a food. If x eats y food and x is not killed, so that is what is given here. Anything anyone eats and not killed till here. So if x is a person and he eats y and if x is not killed, then y is a food here. That's what is given. Then it is a food here. If x eats something and x gets killed, then y is not a food in that case. So that is how we can understand this uh, fact here. Coming back to the fourth fact, that is Anil eats peanuts and still alive. So Anil eats peanuts. So we will take eats. Anil eats peanuts here. So that is what I have written here. Anil eats peanuts and that's the reason I have taken the symbol still alive. That is alive Anil. Anil is alive still. Coming back to the next one, Harry eats everything that Anil eats. Everything is a word, so that's the reason we need to take uh, for all x. If Anil eats something, then Harry will eat that uh, uh, food here. So that's the reason we can write it something like this. If Anil eats x, then Harry eats x in this case. So that is how we can convert this uh, fact into uh, first order logic here. We will add a few more. Uh, uh, first order logics uh, to prove the given uh, statement that is uh, for all x x is not killed the meaning is uh, x is alive for all x if x is alive then x is not killed in this case we have added the, these two predicates 
so that we can prove the given uh, statement in this case so the final fact is uh, john likes peanuts this is what we need to prove uh, because uh, there is a function called as uh, likes john is a person and he likes uh, peanuts in this case we can write it something like this john likes peanuts in this case so this is how uh, we can convert the given uh, facts into first order logic in the next video i will discuss how can we convert these uh, first order logic statements into conjunctive normal form uh, once you convert these uh, statements into conjunctive normal form we need to negate the uh, proof what we need to prove and then we need to draw the resolution graph we will discuss each of these things in the next video link for those videos will be placed in the description below so that you can go through those videos and understand the complete process here i hope the concept of uh, converting facts into first order logic is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching